Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Bemi Olatunji. I film about men, lab science and lifestyle. And if you're interested in content like this, I would love for you to click the subscribe button and be part of my family. So for today's video, it's actually a requested video. Um, so um, it was actually requested from my med lab Q and A. Someone requested that I should talk about my journey through internship, um, my internship journey. I should talk about it, and then I went for her to ask her what exactly my internship journey does she want to know, and she said the process of getting internship, something like that. The process of getting internship. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about how to get internship placement in Nigeria. Internship, housemanship, I think they are similar, so I'm just going to name the video internship or housemanship um, placement in Nigeria. So if you're interested to know, um, you might be a med lab scientist, a nurse, a pharmacist, a doctor, and internship is required for each of these professions. So you might actually want to know or you just like to see my face, then definitely keep on watching. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'll start this video by saying that internship is not is not IT, okay? A lot of people actually mistake internship for IT, but it's not okay. In, it's not the same thing, rather. In Nigeria, it's, it's not the same thing. Internship is housemanship. So that's why I would like to start this video, housemanship, internship struggles. Because you know, people feel like you're just IT. In IT, you're just a student. You're still a student under training. But in internship, you're not a student. You're still under training, but not as a student, as a staff. If you actually get into the system the normal way it should be, you're going to be paid salary. You're going to have leave. You're a staff, just that it's just a one-year program, and you're still under training, but it's not IT. So internship is just like a program for medical professionals. We have med lab scientists, pharmacists, I think optometrists, dentists, um, nurses, doctors. These professions actually go for the one year compulsory internship training. It is immediately after you graduate, you are expected to do your internship. It is compulsory before you even go for NYSC, which is compulsory, okay? That's the first step after graduation is to do your internship. It's, and like I said, on your induction day, sorry, I've not said this, but on your induction day, it is a temporal license that will be given to you. That license, with that license, you can only work as an intern. You can't work as any other thing but an intern. So with that license, that's what you use to apply for your internship. When you now finish your internship and you submit your completed logbook, then you are now going to, um, process your actual real license from the council in Abuja, then is that license they give to you that you can now use to work in any way as a copper, as anything, that's how you get your job. Guys, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be dividing the processes into four. So we have four major processes, or four major steps. You need to become an intern, like a medical intern. You need these four steps. And yeah, the first step is you need to graduate. You need to write your exams and pass your professional exams for whether whatever course you're studying, med lab, nursing, medicine, pharmacy. You need to pass your professional exam. Like you know, these courses are professional exam, are professional courses, and they have um, professional exams. So you need to pass your professional exam before you even start thinking about um, before you start thinking about anything internship. You need to pass your exams. So if you're still in school. Know that the first stage or the first step for you is to pass your exams and have no receipt. Pass and then graduate. So that's the first step. So guys, the second step is to do your induction. Attend your induction. Well, I don't know about the other departments, but I know for my department, if you miss your school's induction, you have to join another school for induction. And I am literally a product of joining another school. So on my own school's day of induction, I wasn't around. I couldn't attend it, so I had to fix and schedule a date with another school because they don't give you your license by proxy. For them to give you your license, you have to be, you have to be um, present. It's not by proxy. You have to take the oath. You have to sign the oath. You have to be there. So you have to join another school. That's if your school is not, if you were not, if you missed your school's own, 
but it's very important that you actually go for your induction without your induction you cannot get internship because it is in your induction ceremony that you're giving your license and that license is just like a driving license driver's license you shouldn't drive without your license so you wouldn't get employed into anywhere without your license so you have to do your induction so now it is the third step and the third step is now getting real into the real business so we all know that information is power knowledge is power so um for me when i did all that i joined there, were, there are a couple of group chats they are usually called for nigeria i'm talking about in nigeria now they're usually called internship connect intense connect yeah so somehow i got the link and i was on like two or three different kind of those group chats so what they do in that group chat is that that's whatsapp group chat so what they do in the group chat is that they give you um they give you updates on when um, hospitals are opening for application, you know, so um, you know that like if a hospital just opened, maybe selling form, anything that you need to know about opening for application, I mean applying, they'll give you all the info there. So basically those, the admins of that group, their main purpose actually is a business, you know Nigeria, everything is all about business. So in as much as they are giving you um, things information that you need to know they're also doing business because what they're actually doing what they actually do is that you might be in Port Harcourt and you want to apply maybe in Benin, Abuja you don't need to start traveling and if you don't know anybody what they do is that the admin is like their job you send or scan your documents to them and you pay them some extra money you pay them money for printing and then you pay them extra money they'll go and submit your internship form your internship application for you in the hospital so that's basically the purpose of that um, but for me i didn't really use them to submit i, I was i just joined the group chat for info so that when any hospital opens up for application they will, they will immediately post it on the group chat they will tell you the documents they need if you need to buy a form they will tell you all the information you need the documents you need to submit like your cv your license and probably any other document the date of exams, they always post it, they're okay, all of you that apply, today's exam, the exam is going to be next week, Saturday, like that. They'll post vital information regarding your application and also exams. And also when the list, when list comes out, they also post, um, they also post the result or the list of people that were successful. Basically, that's, that's just basically, so it, you might not necessarily compose really use them to submit your internship um, application but you need them because you need that information you need to know that okay this hospital teaching hospital is open this state hospital is open i need to apply they even go as far as telling you how to address your letter your um your internship letter your application letter the cmd address and all those things so it was very vital for me um, I, and I didn't even leave the group chat until I started internship. I, I left like a, lo a while after I started shop. So it's, it's very vital. The links, you know, there are these groups that you join with links. So probably, I don't know, my cosmates sent some to the group chat to them. So that's how I actually joined. So that's the third step, which is optional. But I think it's important because information is key. So for you to know and be diverse with information, you need to join these group chats. Or maybe have somebody who share supply you information so the first step now is to after you've applied obviously the next thing is to start preparing for your exam or interview and then i just want to say this um i didn't actually know i mean did i know i can't remember i think i knew because i had some senior colleagues who were who had gone for exam so they told me but if i didn't have anyone to tell me i probably won't know it's also important that when you're studying for this exam you don't just study your med lab courses, you don't just study your campus, microbiology, your course, or your medicine. You also study some current affairs, especially if the organization you are going for the exam is probably a state, um, state hospital or state HMB. You need, those, um, you need all those um, current affairs of the state, like the governor of the state, how many local governments are in the state, um, the motto of the state. like. You need current affairs of the state. Final step is to go for your exam, go for your interview. Um, be sure to dress very corporately. If you have a blazer, put it on. If you have a suit, put it on. Be sure to dress very corporately. It's very important. They might not say anything. They might not complain. They might not actually talk about it. But 
just know that it's very important if you dress with suits you have you know it's good when you're going for a job interview it's just normal that you dress very very corporately go for your exams pray to god pray for favor if you have any other way you can support yourself like push yourself to get into the system then you do it and yeah that's the actual final step but the final of the final of the final step is you get a call to come and collect your appointment letter which will probably be the happiest one of the happiest days of your life or you get maybe you see the list and you find your name there you just go and collect your appointment letter and you follow the procedures of your hospital and yeah you start your internship so that's actually how the whole internship thing is in step by step in nigeria so yeah i hope i've answered your question my very much i really appreciate you that asked this question and made me to do this video and i hope you are actually able to learn probably any of you who is also out there okay so yeah thank you so much so so much for clicking and i hope to see you guys in my next video and yeah bye have a